children in the world to make thee young and beautiful. Something wicked this way, girls. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to today's video, which is going to be my TBR for Hocus Pocus. And for the team that I'm on, which is Team Sanderson Sisters, and oh, there's only a few prompts and the group book, and I think we can definitely get it done. And we also have our weakness and our strength. So I guess without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this small TBR for this, but. Don't worry, I'm also planning on reading a lot of books outside of the readathon, so hmm, that'll be another video shortly after this. So, we got this. Alright. For our group book, it is Mooncakes! And I'm super excited to read about it, finally, and the graphic in this just looks super cute. And I can usually fly through these, so I have no worries about getting stuck on it. So, probably be the first one I might try to read because, you know, Halloween and it's definitely Halloween y and I like it. Hey! Okay, we're gonna move on from that. I don't know what that was, that was weird. Okay, Sarah, read a book featuring sisters, which is 10 points. And our main group book is 15 points keep forgetting to say that, but it is. Now for Sarah's prompts for Futuring Sisters, the only one I could find is A Crown of Feathers by Nikki Paparuto. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name, I, I do try. But this has been out for a little while and oh, it just sounds so good. I got a little ways into it and stopped, but I'm definitely going to try to finish it next month for this prompt, I am a daughter of death. From the ashes I rose, like a phoenix from the prior. I had a sister once, in a world ruled by fierce warrior queens. A grand empire was built upon the backs of a phoenix riders, legendary warriors who soared through the skies on wings. A fire until a war between two sisters ripped it all apart. I promised her the throne would not come between us. Sixteen years later, Veronica is a war orphan who dreamed of becoming a phoenix writer like the heroes of the old. After a shocking betrayal from her controlling sister, Veronica strikes out alone to find the writers even if that means disguising herself as a boy to join their ranks. But it is a fact of life that one must kill or be killed, rule or be ruled. Just as Veronica finally feels like she belongs, her sister turns up and reveals a tangled of web of lies between them that will change everything and, meanwhile, the new empire has learned of the writer's return and intends to destroy them once and for all. Sometimes the little, sometimes the title of a queen is given. Sometimes it must be taken away. Now, if that doesn't have you hooked, I don't know what will. I mean, like I said, I've tried it before and it's good. I just, I just have this tendency of stopping in the middle of books, and I really need to stop doing that and just finish the book but it's really pretty and I and I painted the edges so hopefully we're going to like this because I have the second book as well all right and then Winifred 
read a book about powerful witches. Now for that, ironic, I am going to be reading A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkins. This is also a TV show, so if I really like this, I can dive right into the TV show, which I've been meaning to watch, and I own it, so there's that. But, deep in the heart of Offric's uh, Boldern Library, Deanna Bishop, a young scholar and the descendant of a witches, unearths an enchanted alec mechanical manuscript, I'm so sorry, wanting nothing to do with the sorcery, she banishes the book to the stacks. But her discovery has set a fantastical underworld stirring and soon a horde of demons, witches, and other creatures descends upon the library. Among them is the engineer, yeah, enigmatic Matthew Claremont, a vampire with a keen interest in the book. Equal parts of history and magic, romance, and suspense, a discovery of witches is memorizing an addictive tale of passionate obsession that reveals the closely guarded secrets of enchanted world. That sounds super good, and I've been meaning to read it for a few years, and this is now the chance to read it. So thanks, Winifred. <laughs> All right, Mary, read a book about a evil character. Ten points, and for that, I'm finally gonna get to the sequel of Vicious, which is Vengeful, which is book two. I don't know too much about it, and I kind of want to keep it that way. But I'm really excited to look forward to this to see what happens to Victor and all the other characters. Trying not to sneeze, so we're making it. We're making it. But oh, I've heard mixed reviews about this, and I know there's new characters into this one. I'm just super excited to see where it all goes and how it ends and how well I like this one. But I have high hopes. High hopes for this one. Alright, so let's get into our strengths. You cast a spell of speed to catch those pesky children. You can skip one prompt and still get points. Now, I could do that and still get points, but I want to read, so I'm going to skip the strength. But that's just me. Anyway, weakness. Max, Allison, and Danny have told people about the history of the Sanderson sisters. You must go into hiding. You must not read for a whole 24 hours. Now for that, I am just going to be watching... I'm not going to be watching this for the whole 24 hours of Hocus Pocus. But we're going to call it a movie night and watch Halloween movies, including... Hocus Pocus, maybe Halloween Town, uh, Friday the 13th, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Halloween, Happy Death Day, Happy Death Day to you, uh, <laughs> you know, just all those good Halloween movies that I enjoy, I'm gonna try to watch, ooh, and maybe The Purge movies, Conjuring, Annabelle, you know, all those good movies that I own that I want to watch. And I think I'm going to because Halloween can't read for a whole 24 hours, so what can we do to switch it out? We're going to watch Halloween movies for the whole 24 hours. That's doable, and I would do that. So that's my plan for that. And alright, and there you guys have it. That is my lovely Fountain TBR for Hocus Pocus. So I'm curious to see what you guys come up with for the other teams. And if you're on my team, let me know down in the comments down below. Put a little witch's hat down. And yeah, it'll be fun. I, like I said, I can't wait to see your guys pictures, TBR videos all the fun jazz. 
So we will see you, which is October 1st until the 31st for the entire month. We got this. And who knows, I might do another team's prompt. We don't know yet. But if I get these books done in the amount of time I'm thinking I will, I just might. But anyway, I will see you guys in another video very shortly. And if you guys are new here, go ahead and give the video a like if you like it. And hit the notification bell so you get further videos from me whenever I post. And I will see you guys in October for the other TBR that I have. It's a big list, so you definitely want to stick around for that one if you think September is long. Wait until you see October. Yikes. Alright. I will see you guys in a new video. As a boon. Bye. Ooh. Hocus pocus.